So I've already seen a lot of videos on David Blaine performing, you know, on Jimmy Fallon or whatever, but a lot of comments I've seen actually want to see this on my channel, so I figured I'll go ahead and I'll make the video for it. Um, like I said, I didn't really feel the need to just because I saw so many people already posted, but anyways, this is how um, I kind of interpreted the trick. So basically, he has, what you want to do is, in order to set this trick up, let's say you take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and this is the easiest way to do it. So go ahead, take 13 cards, separate it off the deck, and then you're going to put a 3 in the top position. And then on top of that three, you stick 13 cards. So he starts it off by dealing off 10 cards. So he says, okay, look, we're going to use 10 cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You deal those off. And then what he does is he tells the spectator that he that the value of the card doesn't matter. It just matters about the paper itself. So when he says that, he's counting off three cards and then catching a break. So now you have a three-card pinky break. And then he tells the spectator to go ahead and count the cards. So he picks up the 10 card packet, flips it face up, and very quickly he puts it on top of the deck, puts it with the three card break, picks it up and tells him, okay, go ahead and count this for me. So now what he has is three cards face down in the bottom and then 10 cards face up. So in order to kind of get away with this, he goes, you know what, count them off, call this one, put it underneath, and then two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it looks like you've counted ten cards, but in reality you have thirteen cards face down right here. He has a spectator grab them, put it near his heart, and what he does is he forces a three. Now he dribbles the cards, okay, but it's very easy for you guys just to do the slip force. It's basically the same thing, you're just forcing the top card, and I'll leave a link so you guys can do that. So the spectator can say stop. You're just basically forcing that top card, the three, on the spectators. You say, okay, so you stop me um, at a three. So what I'm going to do here is mix up, or I'm going to put three cards into this packet. So the spectator is holding on to these. He goes one, two, three. And then right before he has the spectators deal, or the spectator deal down um, the, the, uh, the 13 cards, he takes the deck and says, look, here's what I want you to do. I want to take the cards and I want you to count them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here what he does is he deals down a total of seven cards and goes, okay, so all I want you to do is deal down cards just like that. He picks up that seven card packet and he kind of just catches a break like this. So at this point, the spectator is now taking their 13 card packet and dealing them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and when the spectator gets to ten, David Blaine, now pretend the spectator is still holding on to the rest of these three cards. David Blaine, he'll take these seven cards and he kind of has them palmed, okay? So as soon as the spectator gets to ten, he goes, okay, remember, that was the original number. And when he says that, he's placing seven additional cards onto this packet, and the spectator continues to go eleven, twelve, 13. So now what David already does is he sets it up for the next trick. So everybody's kind of freaking out here. Um, they think now there's 13 cards in this packet, but in reality there are 21. So David Blaine has the spectator pick up the uh, the packet again and put it near his chest once more. And then he goes to two other spectators. And now, like I said before, I don't really like going into theories on tricks, but the basic principle is David Blaine has to get to the number 7. Okay, So he already counted 7 cards out. And he goes to the spectator and says, pick a number up to 10. So the spectator picks 3. Um, so I'm assuming David Blaine got lucky here. And he goes to another spectator, and that spectator happened to pick 4. So luckily for him, it's already at 7. The trick's already set up. But I'm assuming maybe if he went over or under the number, he would have continued to ask spectators until he could maybe add or subtract to get to the number 7. I don't really know. But the whole thing is, is he gets to number 7. There are now seven additional cards already in this pile, so there's 21, and David Blaine goes, okay, you know what, let's go ahead and deal these down again, and eventually he will count out to the 21 cards. So, like I said, guys, I'm not too big into the whole theory thing about how he got to seven. I just know that before he even had the spectators um, choose the number seven, he already had that set up anyway. So, um, this is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. Hopefully this one is going to work out for you guys, and as always, thanks for watching.